So a lot of you have been asking um, since I made my um, what the truth about being chubby video how I am getting on treating myself a little bit better. I've had mixed feelings about answering this because like to be honest it's not like you make a video about um, wanting to treat yourself better and the complexities of feminism and exercise and you just like get better like you just improve uh, intrinsically. I definitely think in some ways I have been a lot better and in some ways I've just been a lot worse but a big part of that has been um, just not beating myself up about it. Not going like bad diet equals bad person, why do I even try? Person who isn't exercising equals lazy person every single time I do it. But I am honest with myself and I always think like, am I trying my best? And that is not always the case. However, I just literally done a workout, which is why, oh, aren't you glad that smell vision isn't a thing? I always think that people who work out a lot are trying to look better, but like in a weird way that can't deeply be the case for most of them because looking better often has to manifest first in looking a lot worse. <laughs> Things I have been doing, I have been working out however ungracefully. Um, I have been going to some personal training sessions with my friend Amy from work. Um, we've gone twice now and it basically involves 45 minutes of a nice man kind of shouting at us but because she's so used to working out and is a lot stronger than me it really does motivate me and she's always like come on Lormington get those arms. Um, so yeah it's kind of an assault on the senses um, and I wouldn't do it all the time but I, I have enjoyed that. That has been the thing I have enjoyed. Squeeze at the top Control the weight I'm going down. Um, and then I've also just been working out something that I used to do quite a lot is the 30 day shred with um, Gillian Michaels, who is a problematic heroine for our generation. Side lunge, shoulder raise, in position. But it is, they are really simple 20 minute workouts. I have noticed about workout videos though, that like there's never, I try and not look at the screen to be honest, like I know what exercise I'm doing but sometimes I just put my, my headphones on because sometimes it's fine to see them all on screen and I don't mind it but some days I'm a bit like can we not have like some people that are gonna at least look like me or what I would look like eventually. The width of my hips and how short I am just means that like I'm looking at them and I'm like I'm literally never gonna look like that. Why do I have to look at them all every bloody day? What we need really is like Barbie Ferreira or like Iskara Lawrence to do a workout video because they're like really fit. Like especially Iskara Lawrence, she's really fit. She has the kind of body that mine might look like if I got really, really fit. Anyway, I also did an experiment where I purposely ate breakfast um, every day for a week. And that might sound like a really easy challenge for a lot of people. But for me, when I moved to London, I fell into this ridiculous habit of not eating breakfast at all because I, I reckoned I was really cosmopolitan and like all I need is a black coffee in the morning and I'd like sworn out with my, my black coffee like I was a metropolitan dating columnist from New York, like stupid. I'm not forcing it to be healthy, it can be healthy but sometimes it wasn't healthy and sometimes I didn't feel like eating it and sometimes it sucked because actually it actually made me feel a bit sick so I don't know how to feel about that but I, after that experiment I have been eating more breakfast. I was gonna turn it into a whole video, but I think a whole video about breakfast is kind of dull, don't you? My favorite thing to do is jog, but because it's so dark in the mornings here and so dark when I get home, and obviously I have a full-time job, so I'm not in in the day, um, that's been kind of hard, but I'm really looking forward to picking that back up once it gets a bit lighter, because at the moment it's just like not safe for me. I don't know, I just don't feel safe jogging in the dark. It's a thing that like some, like, I don't know, I've had male colleagues in the past that are like, I jog before work, I'm like, good for you. Society has taught me that I'm not safe outside, outside of daylight hours. The third thing I've been doing is going for more walks. So when people go, oh, let's go for drinks or let's go for food, I'm like, let's go for a walk. So I've had some really great walks with people recently. Me and my friend Sam from Super Sam stuff, we walked like Trafalgar Square and then around Buckingham Palace and then um, all down by Victoria, back and forward, back and forward. And that was really, really nice. You might've seen earlier in the project, I, me and my friend Jackson walked, um, all the way along South Bank and made a video about it and that was really fun and I've just been like actively being like when people go I want to see you I go I want to walk with you. The fourth thing is really just like dipping into more things so that I haven't been that good at that to be honest recently but I'd like to read more of Fat as a Feminist Issue which is the book that I talked about in the first video and um, I'm really thinking about this idea of like eating things to protect yourself from the world to protect yourself from scrutiny or sexualization by making sure that you stay a little bit fat and instead going on the offensive and feeling like to protect myself I want to be able to literally protect myself like I want to get stronger I want to get leaner I want to get more aware So like just actively changing that mindset when I think about it has been really helpful. I hope that has helped in some way, and if it hasn't, I'm just gonna treat you to something. My exercise shorts. Yeah.
they'll never say you're sorry you subscribed. Um, I'm doing 40 days of videos this month, why? I'm still taking questions for the videos because I'm always like running on different ideas and whatever I feel like doing every day. So do leave some below and I might be able to answer it, maybe, maybe tomorrow, who can say? Thanks for watching, Frog Snog out.